Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel now in today's video we are going to be talking about the series 6 apple watch that just got announced today on september 15th i was actually going to break down all of the features using like my own notes and everything but i actually went onto apple's website and their, their explore page actually nailed it everything was just point for point exactly what i was going to type out and write so this is easier for me and more visual for you and i think this is going to be a really fun video I'm going to take a look at all of the new features so right here the future of health is on your wrist measure your blood oxygen level with a revolutionary new sensor and app so that's a really really big thing that they were pushing in this event so let's go ahead and read about it a little bit more so blood oxygen a breath of fresh innovation so this is definitely something new that's never been in an apple watch before so I'm just going to quickly read this. So your blood oxygen level is key is a key indicator of your overall wellness. It can help you understand how well your body is absorbing oxygen and the amount of oxygen delivered to your body. The remarkable new sensor and app in Apple Watch Series 6 allows you to take on-demand readings of your blood oxygen as well as background readings day and night. Now this is huge. It's a big, big health feature that's never been in an Apple Watch before. And me personally, I'm really interested in this because I am very interested in personal health. And this is definitely a big one that you would want to monitor. Blood oxygen is one of the most important things in bodily functions. So it is going to be a really, really cool feature. And I think a lot of people will buy the watch even specifically for this. Now, let's scroll down a little bit. So it says it takes about 10 seconds roughly to get that reading, which is pretty quick, actually. I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. Uh, new sensor, new insights. The new blood oxygen sensor is made up of four LED clusters and four photo diode photo di 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 I can't even say that word. We'll just skip that word. Photo iodides uh, incorporated into the completely redesigned back crystal with new sensor works in concert with the blood oxygen app to determine your blood oxygen level. Now, basically, that's just saying there's new sensors that's going to do the blood oxygen test, which I think is pretty cool. And you can see on the sensors here on the right, it definitely is a way different design than we've ever seen in any other Apple Watch. Then we'll scroll down, scroll down a little bit. Uh, green, red, and infrared LEDs shine light onto the blood vessels in your wrist and photo iodides measure the amount of light reflected back. Advanced algorithms can then calculate the color of your blood, which indicates the amount of oxygen present. So just really expanding on the blood oxygen feature again. Now on to some other stuff. So ECG, we've actually seen this in the last watch as well. Um, but it is going to be back on the Series 6, just really kind of making that health aspect of the watch uh, really, really good. Now we've got blood oxygen, we've got ECG, and then down here, I believe, yeah, the sleep app as well. So Apple never really had its own sleep app, kind of like Fitbit did. So now that Apple is making their own sleep app, it's going to be really, really nice just to have all of your Apple stuff from Apple. Uh, instead of going to like third party software to get like sleep apps or blood oxygen read or something like that, it's just nice to have it all under the same umbrella. But anyways, right here, so the sleep app is going to obviously track your sleep. Now, if you guys have ever had a Fitbit, I would just assume it's going to be very, very similar to the sleep app on the actual Fitbit, but probably a little bit better because it is Apple. And I know that might sound a little bit biased, but normally when Apple releases something, they've perfected it and it's a lot better than the competition most of the time. But uh, I'm really hoping the sleep app is really good because that is something that I have wanted with my Apple watches for the last you know, a few years or so. Then we'll scroll down here. So water resistance, you can obviously swim in it just like you have in all of the other watches uh, in the last few years. Then it's talking about the workout app, which is not new. We'll scroll down a little bit more. Um, then it's just saying staying motivated by using like podcasts, music, audiobooks, and then the activity ring, which you, if you guys have had an Apple Watch, you'll know uh, it's really motivating and rewarding to actually close those rings. Um, then if we want to scroll down a little bit more, we can do activity sharing and share your ring challenges with friends, which isn't a new factor uh, again, but I thought I'd just mention it and then competitions. Now this is something new here. This is Fitness Plus. So it's really marketed with the Apple Watch just because the Apple Watch can track calories burned, steps taken and everything like that. 
And what Fitness Plus is, is it's going to be a fitness subscription where you actually get like guided workouts that you can see on your Apple TV or phone or iPad, follow along and actually have your calories and, you know, steps taken and everything recorded with the actual workout, which I think is going to be a really, really big hit, especially because home workouts are such a big thing right now due to the whole pandemic. Um, that fitness subscription... I believe it was uh, $10 a month US and you actually get it for free for three months with the purchase of a new Apple Watch, which is really, really cool. You get three months to really just take it for a test drive and see if you want to keep it, which I do think it is something I might want to keep just in case the gyms close down again. I'll actually have more workouts that will actually sync with my Apple Watch, which I think is really, really cool. Now on to some more aesthetic things here. So we got a couple new colors, actually a few more than a couple. Um, but we have a product red um, aluminum Apple Watch, which is going to look really, really cool, as you can see here. It's almost like an Iron Man red or Hot Rod red, which I'm a huge, huge fan of that. It's actually my favorite color, like that shiny metallic red. Um, then there's also a navy. I think they're just calling it blue, not actually navy, but you can see it on the right of the screen here. Um, I think that one actually looks really, really cool, especially with like a black band or something. I think that would look really, really nice. Um, then down here, a couple more different uh, colors. So we have a space black titanium. Um, then we have a gold stainless steel and then silver aluminum. Now these ones are the uh, more expensive watches. They're around 989 US dollars. Um, so they definitely are a lot more pricey and they're normally the cellular models as well. So if you guys uh, don't really use the cellular function. I wouldn't recommend buying it unless like you really really want these colors just because you're going to pay for a lot more and you're not really using the functionality of it. But I, re I guess it really just comes down to which one you want to actually wear which you know space black titanium it looks pretty good so I wouldn't uh, you know judge by any means if you wanted to pick that up and not use the cellular no big deal. Um, some other cool stuff here. So we have a solo loop now. So there's actually no uh, little like fold or anything that you have to tuck in anymore. Um, it comes with a solo loop. So what that means is it's literally just one loop. You don't have to disconnect or connect anything, which I think is pretty cool. Now there's a silicone band and then there's also going to be this one right here, which uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly what that was. So we'll just take a look, I guess, here. So Solo Loop is the stretchable silicone. So it looks like you're basically just going to like stretch it, put the watch on, and then it'll kind of like grip onto your uh, wrist. I'm hoping it's not like super, super tight or they'll probably have the two different sizes in the box like they've had with all the other bands. Um, but that's the new band there. And then the braided Solo Loop. Now this one is pretty cool. So it says silicone threads with interwoven are interwoven with over 16,000 recycled polyester yarn filaments to create a band that's as textural and stretchable as it is beautiful. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the look of this. Um, I do like and prefer the uh, basic solo loop like this one right here. I'm not a big fan of that kind of like braided look, especially on a watch at least. Maybe on like a charging cord or something, but definitely not on a watch in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below though. Um, then we'll scroll down here. Always on display, two and a half times brighter. Now that's really, really cool because if you guys use your watch out in the sun, you probably noticed the always on uh, wasn't like the greatest just because the sun kind of drained it out and you couldn't really see it. But they are changing that two and a half times brighter. So that's really, really cool. We got some new faces. Um, in my opinion, they weren't like really, really crazy. Um, there's some like Memoji ones that if you tap the screen, the faces will kind of move around and stuff. And there's some other colorful ones which represent like teams and countries, um, which I thought was decent. But I'm really just sticking to the basic ones in the chronograph style. Um, but the new ones are pretty decent. I'll probably play around with them a little bit as well. So and here we go, just showing us some more of the faces. And then we'll keep going here. Uh, this is not new, I believe. That's not new. Apple Pay, Siri, Maps. Um, you are, use AR to see Apple Watch Series 6. That's just if I want to shop. And that's pretty much it. There was one thing that wasn't in this um, little, like, explore page. And that's the ultimate, ult ultimeter. 
basically what that is is it tracks the elevation so if you're like a big hiker or maybe you're going on a big uh trip to like mount everest or something it'll actually tell you how high above ground level you are which i thought was pretty cool i do want to get into more traveling and hiking so i think this feature would be pretty cool for someone like myself or someone who's very like adventurous but yeah guys that is apple watch series 6 lots of really really cool features blood oxygen is definitely a really really big one and then i really did like that two and a half times brighter screen i think it's just going to be nice because i like to wear my watch out in public and normally that's in the sun and and I did notice that the color was kind of drained when it was sunny out. So I think changing the brightness is going to be something that's really, really good with the new watch. Something I am very, very curious to see is this new band. I don't know what it's going to be like if it's like stretchy and you just kind of like clamp it down or something. I guess we'll see because I am going to buy it and unbox it for you guys on the channel. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the video, guys. Leave a comment down below of what you guys think about the new Apple Watch Series 6. Are you guys upgrading to it? Or maybe this is even your first ever watch. Let me know down below. But anyways, this is the end of the video. The next Apple Watch video you will probably see from me will most likely be an unboxing. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and like. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.